Okay, four freeze. I think he summons here, right? Let's talk about Japard after the showcasing we just did for the Chaos Halls. So Japard is your ice preservation five-star character. He gets overshadowed very early on due to fire MC, but as you just saw, Japard is a phenomenal tank when you do build him with defense, and essentially, you don't even need a healer on your team. You can stay alive, you can keep your whole team alive, it makes things a lot easier. So let's move over to the light cones here and talk about like recommended light cones that we could use for Japard. The best light cone for him is obviously gonna be his signature, his best in slot, Moment of Victory. It increases the wearer's defense by 24% and their effect hit rate by another 24%, which is basically good because you're able to freeze the enemy with Japard with your E ability, you have a chance of doing that. I think it's a 65 base chance uh, currently, and then a 35% increase once you get your E1 for Japard. You also increase the chance of the wearer to be attacked by the enemies, which you want. And whenever the wearer is attacked, you're increasing their defense by an additional 24% until the end of that wearer's turn. So 100% best in slot. If you guys ended up getting this and you guys are feeling sad because you wanted other light cones out there, don't feel bad. This is a phenomenal preservation light cone. Next up, I'd say Landau might be my number two pick if we're going over to the four star light cones here. Landau. The wearer is more likely to be attacked, but the damage taken is reduced by 16%. That's essentially what you want. Combo this with his bonus ability, and he's pretty much going to always get attacked 9 times out of 10. It's kind of like main character's taunt ability, right? You have a higher odds. Second up, I'd say day one of my new life, you increase the wearer's defense by 16%, and after entering the battle, increase the damage resistance of all allies by 8% as well. So if somehow... There's a lot of AoE attacks going off and your other teammates are dying. You don't have a healer on your team. You could essentially run this to help mitigate some of that damage for your other allies. So you have day one of my new life Landau that you can choose. And of course, moment of victory. I'd recommend all three of those Landau for the four star day one as a backup. If you don't have either one of those, I'd also opt in trend of the universal market. You're increasing the wearer's defense by 16%. And whenever the wearer is attacked, 100% base a chance to burn the enemy, so I guess a little bit of extra additional damage. Currently, I'm running that on my uh, Japard because I don't have the other ones, as you guys can tell. So those are all the options that I would throw in for Japard. I'm not really a too big a fan of Wildfire, even though it says at the start of the battle, damage dealt by all allies decreases by 8% for five turns. I don't like conditional light cones, things that happen only after like three turns or five turns or whatever, because most of the time the fights are going to be drawn out, especially in late game when you're doing chaos halls and you have like 30 turns to clear the fight or a simulated universe. Odds are it's going to take more than five, right? So this is something that I am not a fan of, so... Moment of victory, Landau, day one, and then trend. So let's quickly move over and move on to the traces now and what I prioritize and what I think you should be leveling up for your Japard. First and foremost, his shield comes from his ultimate, so 100% make sure you prioritize his ultimate. You're applying a shield to all allies, absorbing damage equal to a certain percentage of Japard's defense, plus an additional amount for three turns. 100% the ultimate is something you should be focusing on. And that's pretty much it. The good thing about Japard is he's a low investment character. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to level up. That's all. Focus on the shield and you're done. However, if you do want to keep leveling things up, in terms of like priority, I'd go for his skill ability because as you are using that to generate more energy back for Japard, at least you'll be dishing out just a teensy bit more damage, I, I suppose, whether that's copium or not to you. After that priority... Unyielding will is something you would want to level up. In my opinion, if you are getting to the point where your Japard is dying and being dealt with a killing blow, then you probably are not building enough defense on your Japard because he shouldn't be dying. All right. He shouldn't be dying. His shield should be very thick to the point where you just don't take damage and you don't die. And then you have your auto attack. Again, I want to keep reiterating I advise not leveling up any other talents beside his ultimate 
His ultimate is the only thing you need to level up and focus on. But if you are that big Japard main and you want to level up everything, that's the order I would go if you want to go that route. Ultimate, skill, talent, basic attack. In terms of bonus abilities here, I like integrity. Japard has a higher chance to be attacked by enemies. So you're taking the pressure off of your other teammates and allowing him to be attacked. Also generating energy for him. Every time he gets attacked, he'll be generating some energy back. So I would always go for that bonus ability on him for that. You can also increase effect resist so he doesn't get frozen. So you're able to keep shielding up and protecting your team. I think commander is completely worthless because like I recommended, unyielding will. If you die... You might have another issue if you're if dying is happening with your Japard, you might have another issue to look into rather than oh shit you're hoping that you die so you can get your energy back but this would be the second thing i'd work on and then i guess fighting spirit now quickly moving over to the relics here best in slot is going to be knight of purity palace two pieces increasing defense by 18 percent four pieces increasing the damage that can be absorbed by the shield created by the wearer by 20 percent and then for the other set go with the bell of bog or the architects you're increasing your defense by another 15 percent and then if your effect hit rate is 50 percent or higher you get another 15 percent obviously for the headpiece is going to be hp ring is going to be attack for the body, I'd recommend going defense. And then for the boots, either speed or defense. Now, if you do want to go speed, think about it like this. More speed you have, more chances that you'll be able to take turns over the enemy. And more turns you take, more attacks you get to get in. More attacks you get in, more energy generated back for you. So always keep that in mind. I would recommend either speed or defense. Late game, you're most likely going to want speed. And then as we move on to the sphere, go defense for the sphere for the main stat and for the rope energy regeneration this is the only relic that you can get energy regeneration on and if you can build enough energy on japard you could essentially never run out of your shield your shield stays up for three turns get your energy back quick enough you have a shield that never expires it's up indefinitely alternatively if you are looking for another two piece besides the defense set you can run the energy regeneration set where it increases your energy regeneration by five percent and whenever your speed is 120 or higher your advanced action is forward 40 percent immediately upon entering battle this is also a really good set because like i said more energy more alts more alts more shields more shields less damage you're basically unkillable so do keep that in mind as well. I'd recommend the Bellabog or the Sprinkly Von Wack. I'm, I'm butchering that completely. Either the energy set or the defense set. All right, so for the substats that I would recommend, I would recommend defense, effect hit rate, because as you are using your E ability, you do have a chance to freeze the enemies. So that's a little added bonus. Effect resist, so you can dodge those debuffs from the enemies, and then speed. Those four main substats I would recommend trying to go for for your Japard. All right, and then moving quickly over to his Adelons here. For the most part, all of them are great if you manage to get them. His E1, whenever you're using your skill, which was a 65% chance to freeze the enemy, base chance, increases the base chance by 35%. So now you have a 100% base chance to freeze the enemy. Remember, keep in mind, that doesn't mean you have a 100% chance to freeze the enemy. It's just a base chance. We're not taking into account their effect resist versus your effect hit rate and determining out if you're able to actually land that. Moving on to E2, after the enemy, after the frozen enemy that's hit by your skill is unfrozen, their speed is reduced by 20%. Very nice. E4, when Japard's in the battle, all of your allies' effect resist will be increased by 20% also good for your healers and your dps dealers because they're most likely not going to be running effect resist on their substats they're going to more so work on like crit crit damage uh speed and like break effect and things like that so that's really good and then e6 is your unyielding resolve the one where it revives you again i think if you're getting killed with japard might want to look into other things to keep your japard alive because if japard dies that's a problem but if he does somehow die and the talent's triggered he'll be advanced forward by 100 percent and restores extra hp to 50 percent of his max hp so there you go that is the japard build that is the japard guide all my recommended light cones relics substats traces to level up aka only the ultimate and only that one bonus ability Hopefully this video was helpful or informative to all of my Japard mains out there who don't even have another healer on your account. You desperately need some kind of solution. This is your solution. This is your wall. This is your guardian. I thank you guys very much for watching this video. Join us over on Twitch. I'm live every day answering all types of questions. Any more questions, leave it in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one.